In today's video, I'm gonna take you through the keyboard shortcuts that have saved me a lot of time in hopes that they'll save you time too. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. My name is Bria, and I'm assuming you're a video creator if you're watching this, so you already know that editing content is time consuming. Thankfully, the CapCut desktop app has a ton of keyboard shortcuts that make it super easy to edit your content quickly and efficiently. I'm working on a Mac here, so I'm gonna talk about the command key, but if you're on a Windows computer, just sub that for control. And if any of these keyboard shortcuts don't make sense to you or aren't easy, you can always head to the shortcuts panel at the top right of your app and change the shortcuts to whatever you want. We're just going over the defaults. First, let's go over the basics. One of the first things you'll probably do in the CapCut app is open a new project. To do this, just press Command N. N for new, pretty easy to remember. Next, to import your footage, you'll use Command I. If you ever want to go into full screen while you're editing, which I do a lot, you'll press Command Control F, and to exit full screen, press the escape key. Now that we've got the basics down, let's talk about some useful keyboard shortcuts that you can use during the editing process. These for me are huge time savers. Splitting clips is the most consuming part in my editing process, so I use Command B to split individual clips quickly or Command Shift B to split all. Now, if you're trying to split a bunch of clips at once with the tap of your mouse, just press B and then every time you click on a clip in your timeline, it'll split. To get out of this and go back to select mode, you'll press A. Once you split, if you want to delete the clip to the left, press Q. To delete the clip to the right, Right, press W. To move back and forth across the clips on your timeline, use the bracket keys. The left bracket will move your selection to the previous clip, and the right bracket will select rightward. If you want to shuttle left, meaning you just play the clips on your timeline backwards so you can get an idea of what you're working with, press J. Press L to shuttle right. And then you can stop the shuttle at any time by pressing K. I personally like that when you delete a clip, the rest of them will automatically move in line and fill in that gap. This is called your main track magnet. But if you want to turn this off or on, just press P. Similarly, you'll see that when you move a clip close to the end of another clip, the app will assume that you don't want them to overlap or have a space in between, so it'll auto snap. I like this too, but you can turn it off if you want by pressing N. If you ever want to turn linkage off or on, you'll press the tilde. This is that little squiggle at the top left of your keyboard. If you want to turn the preview axis off, which I usually do, you'll press the S button. The preview axis is that yellow line that you see on your timeline when you move your mouse around. It can be useful in some scenarios, but I usually don't need it. Another useful shortcut is extracting or restoring audio. The shortcut for this is Shift Control S. And speaking of arrows, you can use the arrows if you ever want to move to the next or previous frame. This is really helpful for me when deciding where to cut, especially if I'm talking and don't want any dead air in my video. If you want to move forward several frames instead of just one, you'll press shift right arrow. To move backwards several frames, you'll press shift and then just use the left arrow instead of the right. Likewise, if you want to move to the last cut point, use your upward arrow. The next cut point is going to be your downward arrow. If you ever want to quickly select an area by a clip, that's shift X. To un select, just press Option X. And to group or ungroup clips, you'll do Command G to group and Command Shift G to ungroup. Let's say you quickly want to change the speed or duration of a clip. To open this section on the upper right, select your clip, then press Control R. To curve speed, that'll be Shift B. Another really useful keyboard shortcut is Option G. This is going to help you create a compound clip so it'll fuse your clips together. You can always undo it by pressing Option Shift G. If you ever want to turn the volume up or down during your edit, you can press Command Period to turn it up or command comma to turn it down. If you ever wanna zoom so that your footage fully fits in the timeline, you'll press shift Z. And finally, let's say it's time to export, but you only wanna export a certain part of your video. Select the start or end point of what you wanna export by pressing I, and then choose the out point by pressing O. So now we're pros on the keyboard shortcuts during the importing and editing process, let's talk about the player. Like most video players, you can play or pause with your space bar. You can also enter or exit full screen using command shift F. Zoom in on those details in the player by pressing Option Shift Plus and zoom out by pressing Option Shift Minus. You can zoom to fit the player with Option Shift Z. Finally, to cancel your player's alignment, just press and hold the Command key. Okay, we've made it through all of the CapCut Desktop App's keyboard shortcuts. If you're not already using keyboard shortcuts, I highly recommend it. It seriously will cut your editing time down significantly. Let me know in the comments what shortcuts you'd like to see, and I'll catch you in our next video. Bye.